Hello everybody, SSA here, aka Subsunarashi, coach of the Groningen Goldogs, bringing you week 6 of the FBL, the Frontier Battle League, as we take on Chilled, coach of the Equalite Infernames. Now last week we had some trouble with Pokemon Showdown, and on the top of that we also lost, so we're currently 3 wins and 2 losses in the FBL Season 2. And a win could really help us in the long run. It will also make this season better than the season before. Because we did make a lot of improvements as a coach. When you look back at last season. So the Equalite Infernapes, they're in the... I think Fire Conference. Uh, uh, let, me, let me check that real out. Let me check that real quick out. I can do that. I can do that. No worries. We can do that. So... Let me see here. Uh, yeah, Fire Conference, Equalite uh, Infernapes, Chit Phoenix, Clefable, Hippowden, Gyarados, Umbreon, Carfagrius, Hariyama, Megaladios, that's a scary mon. Uh, Exadrill, Superior, also pretty scary. He has a pretty scary mon. So, if you look at that, then this could go either way. But the mons that we're bringing is, first off, Nexus the Azumarill holding the Citrus Berry with Belly Drum Aqua Jet Play Rough. A knock off the Belly Drum set. We're gonna take some risk again. There is going to be a match this season where the Belly Drum set will come in work. I am sure of that. But Nexus is here and I think Nexus can do hopefully a lot against Equalite Infernape. So next up we have Eddie the Hitman Top, Leftovers, Intimidate, Rapid Spin, Close Combat, Mach Punch, and Toxic. Now I'm considering using you know um fake out but i think mach punch can e be much useful than the fake out on this moment we also have toxic to be that guy uh defense stats of hitmon top is pretty high as well so we have a bit of a bulk here and hopefully eddie can put in a lot of work uh we only used him once which was at the beginning of this season and he did what he could, so hopefully Eddie can put in the work. Next up, we have Almighty Entei holding the Choice Band with Sacred Five Flabless, Extreme Speed and Stone Edge. Same moveset like always. Entei did a lot of good work against Skytrain and Silver two weeks ago. And I really hope Entei can put in, because I haven't used Entei quite, quite good this season, I have to be honest. While Entei is a powerhouse, so I hope, hope that Entei can put in a lot of work as well today. Then we have Smell is the Rose Raid holding the Life Orb, Natural Cure with Sludge Pump, Toxic Spikes, Sleep Storm and Sleep Powder. I'm bringing the Toxic Spikes this time because I think he has a few months that, you know, doesn't take the poison the, from that, like the Megaladios and Excedrill. But I want to take some extra coverage if we get the opportunity to put up the Toxic Spikes. So there we go, and Leaf Storm and Sleep Powder are like always there. Then we have Bell the Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, with Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, Focus Blast, and Calm Mind. Um, again, I was considering maybe put Thunderbolt this week on Gardevoir, but I'm not that... Because we already have Area 51 next, and I think with this set we're almost always good. So yeah, and as I said before... Aria 51 is also here, this time with the choice specs, Analytic with Full Switch, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt and Hitter Power Fire. I could have put Choice Scarf on there, but seeing that the Exodrill is, I think is only Steel Type Mon, I rather go with the choice specs so that we can hit hard. Um, it's a risky move, Magnezone is a risky Mon to use, and so far it works well for us this season, so I hope Magnezone can actually put in a lot of work with the choice specs. So this is the team we're going to double check if all the IVs are correctly. I'm doing that every week. So looks good. So let me go to team. Let me go validate OU. Yes, so double check again. 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31. Area 51. No, because of the hidden power fire. So everything is set. I'm going to see if Chills can battle in a moment. And with that, I'll hope to see you guys in a bit. So... Until then. Alright, so as you can see, Chilled wants to battle. We have a team ready, so let's click accept. Let's do this. I'm actually nervous. So he brought the Hippowdon, the Extra Drill, the Emboar, the Gyarados, the Kofagrius, and the Magneton. So I'm gonna just say good luck, have fun. Like this. 
And we're going to do ignore spectators and ignore players. Alright, so he could easily start off with the extra drill. And if he does that, then Eddie is actually a good move or for us to begin. My bird is... He got... Okay. <laughs> Alright, so um, I think that's actually the good move to do here. Go into Eddie and see what he brings. I didn't bring, uh, as I said before, I didn't bring fake out, so I can't really scout. But we're gonna do that and start off with Eddie, so hopefully that will give us some advantage. Now he can start off with the, he is starting off with the Ember. Okay. Um, what does Ember run most of the times? So I'm gonna go ahead and. So, uh, Embor, all out attacker, it could be, you know, it could be, I could close combat straight away, but I could also just toxic it, and what if it's choice cop, it doesn't matter because he outspeed us either way, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the toxic then, so let me do that. Hippowdon! Okay, so actually we can then set up a Toxic on the Hippowdon. And... Sandstream is irritating, but... Now he has the Hippowdon. Um, we could close combat, that won't do much. He can actually set up Stealth Rocks. That would be irritating. If he does that, we can rapid spin, so it's not safe to say lead off. Um, he doesn't actually have a mon. I could Mach Punch and do as much damage possible. Let me put Mach Punch in there because Mach Punch will do like seven. Possibly the worst move. I could... Uh, no, 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 no. Alright, so what if he is going to do that? Bit of the stealth rocks. I'm gonna go into Nexus. He switches out. Okay, so... That is the Mega Gyarados, I think. No, because he has Mega Latios. He doesn't bring his... G he didn't brought... Okay, I get Gyarados. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We could belly drum. We could belly drum. All right. So if it's Dragon Dance, oh, let me see. We could belly drum. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and click belly drum. So there we go. And. I'm gonna go ahead and play rough now, or knock off. Because now we're four times attack. I can now go ahead and play rough it. What can he do actually to hit us? He could crunch and flinch us, he can waterfall, but that's not very effective. I'm gonna head and... Well, will Aqua Jet actually... No, 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 we're just gonna go ahead and play rough this thing. Yeah, play rough is the best way. So we did it, we did put up the belly drum. The stand is still up. That is still uh, annoying. <sighs> I'm, I'm very sorry for my bird. He's actually going. Alright. So now he's like, I'm gonna put it on two. It still won't kill. I think. It still won't kill. I can now go straight up and go for the play rough here. I can knock off as, as well, but I don't want to get minimal roll. I'm gonna go ahead and play rough. He's gonna go and bounce!
bounce. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> that will kill! That will kill from this range. Oh my god. Um, I can switch out! Ah, uh, so we have used our belly drum for this. I can switch out and go into Magna Zone. I could do that. I mean, he is now two times speed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Magna Zone. I can't let Azumarill die. So he's... He misses the bounce! <laughs> that is the first time I'm so sad he misses an attack. We could have stayed in. Okay, so he's faster. Um, he could waterfall us. I mean, he could also switch out into hip um, hippodon. I'm gonna be that guy in flash cannon just to be that guy. So he's going to go into magneton. All right, so it's Magneton. I mean, what could he do actually against us? If he's choice Scarf, he could hit him Power Fire us. I'm gonna get the Flash Cannon. Yeah, this is the Power Fire. His choice Specs. That is choice Specs. Right, and then hidden power fire. Why did it? Huh? Oh my god. I mean, this gives us the opportunity to maybe Mach Punch. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and Mach Punch. That should kill. I'm really sorry for my bird. I don't know why he's being dead. So, Mach Punch, that won't do much. This Hippodon is actually gonna kill us. Alright, give me a moment, because... Very sorry for that. All right, so this is actually bad. This is actually bad, and we already used up our. Ugh, so bad. All right, so let me go ahead, go back to the Hippodon. I mean, we already in a um, tough position. Um. Why? Why am I in Hitmon Chan? What the fuck? Yeah, that's not gonna do much. Um, I could go into Umazumarill again and just yeah, I'm gonna do that again and go into the Azumarill again then. So let's do that. He's gonna earthquake. Okay, I have to Aqua Jet here. There's no other way. I could also knock off. Because he's probably going to switch out either way. I'm going to go ahead and knock off. So that's the Gyarados. We do get to knock off us. Because of the Intimidate, it won't do much. But at least we got a rid of leftovers from Gyarados. This will also kill us. And... I mean, I'm safe to go into... Smell this. Maybe Bell. 
Um, I don't know what. I mean, smell this is the only way. And okay, let me cut this out. Oh, wrong button there. Let me cut this out. So rose, rose rate, and then offensive hazards. And then against, what if we decide to put in the Embor? A Sludge Bomb can kill from that range. And maybe we can also get the poison off. But that's, I'm kind of over predicting. It's the only thing I can do. I'm gonna go do, do that. He could Ice Fang me. We are faster. I'm gonna go ahead and Sludge Bomb this thing. If he decided to switch out, he can't, he's going to go into the Kofa Grigus. Okay. So. Okay. Kofa Grigus. He could trick room me. Um, seventy-nine percent. Leaf Storm could kill. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm here then. I don't know if it will take down the Coffer Grigus. It will not, and he's going to put up a Will O Wisp. We are natural cure, so. We're on natural cure. So I'm gonna go back into... Ah, we can't go into Eddie though. I could do it and then toxic it. Nah, safe place. Again, go for a sludge bomb here. Ah, he knew that. He knew that. That son of a bitch. Ah... <sighs> uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we can uh, we can lose this 6-0, to be honest. We can lose this 6-0. Uh, that's hidden power 5, so I'm gonna go into Eddie either way. So, flash cannon. Okay. So, we can go into the Hippodon again. I'm gonna go ahead and close combat. He is faster. Okay, so the Gyarados comes in. Ah, oh, the Intimidate drop. Mm! Okay, calculate this again. Hit on top. Gyarados. Um, I don't think if this is the Gyarados set he's running. Let's say he's in defensive one. And he's 90% left. And then a Mach Punch. I mean, he's faster than us, so... We'll do not do enough. I have to go into... He's gonna ice fang me. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is not good. I'm gonna go into Bell. I hope this is a good move set of mine. Okay. So, what would be the best way to do this? Okay, let me let's say he's going into the exit drill. I have to focus blast, I think. I have to focus blast.
Okay. That's the only thing I can do. If he goes in the magneton... At least we took a Mon down, so we're not losing this 6-0. And who knows, I've, I've pulled myself out of tough situations already. So there's the Magneton. Magneton, sorry. Um, he's gonna flash can we probably. I have to go back into Eddie. He's flash getting me. Alright, so I need to put up a Mach Punch here. So there's the Cofagrius. Okay. So I can actually try to toxic this thing. Which we are going to do. But the Hex will kill us. But at least now we've toxic the Cofagrius. Okay, now I can go actually into... I can go into smell this. And I can go for sleep powder or I can go for the sludge bomb. Or leaf storm. I'm gonna go for leaf storm. So that will take care of the Hippodon. So now the extra drill is here. But the sand is up. Oh boy, the sand is up. <laughs> oh boy. So, sand is up. And Exadrill Sand Rush Sweeper. Uh, that will kill us. I think he did what he needed to do. He can actually kill us. He can actually kill us from now. It's it's done. It's done. There's nothing that we can do now. There's nothing that we can do now. I can hope. No, there's nothing that we can do now. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks so much. Yeah, Iron Head will kill us. I'm gonna let for go for the sleep powder here. Earthquake. He, 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 he's... We're done. We're done. We're not taking this anymore. Oh, we're not taking this anymore. Oh, that sucks so much. Okay, we're gonna go into Bell then. We can focus Blast. He's probably gonna Iron Head us. Yeah. That's GG. That's GG. He's gonna Earthquake us now. I can Flare Blitz, but EQ will take us down. So, we've lost 4-0. I... Mm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. It was a good game. But I made a few mistakes in this match, and I'm very, very mad at myself for that. Um, he has a very scary team, the Cofagrius, uh, the Magneton as well, Extra Drill, and then the Hippowdon with Sandstorm. He had a perfect sand, uh, sand uh, storm team for me, and it worked well and out for us in the end. I don't think I could have done better with other mods, um, seeing my team. I could have brought Espeon, maybe, but on the other hand, his Steel and Sand team, with the help of Cofagrius and the Gyarados, of course, basically swept us over. And that means we're now 3 wins and 3 losses, which sucks, because if we want to reach playoffs, which isn't the goal, but if we want to reach playoffs, we need to win games. So, yeah, I'm... I'm I need to regroup myself for next week because we're not doing great at the moment last couple of weeks 
So regroup myself, I need to get myself back together and hopefully we can snatch a win next week. If you enjoyed this match, either way, leave a like, comment, share this video with others, slash that subscribe button down below if you are hyped for more FBL matches in the future. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you in the next video.